Okay, that's a that's an interesting choice. Fun. Okay, maybe maybe just one or two without the hand. And oh, the other one came up. Uh, yeah, maybe just try one with your hands in your lap. You don't think that the hand adds a, an air of mystery? Sure, I just, I mean, I think people want to see your face, right? I suppose so. You know, the idea is to just to be comfortable and relax, just shake it off, get loose. I'm loose enough, thanks. Okay then, um, just big smile for the camera. Uh, bit bigger. Okay, maybe try showing your teeth a bit. I don't think you're gonna like these. I'm sure there's a good one in there somewhere. Okay, well, uh, just take a look. Oh God, you're right. It looks like I have some sort of palsy. It's like a post-stroke. It does look a little strokey. It's just, can I be honest with you? Please. The ad is for a bus stop in an ungentrified hood. So I know that the people around there are gonna add their own artistic flourishes. Anatomical illustrations and procreative fluid all over my face and chest. Ah, uh, that's uh, very offensive. Disgusting. It is. it is. They call me Miss Jizz Lady. Rude and inaccurate, I'm sure. And no matter where I put this ad, these street artists single me out. <laughs> that's unpleasant. The bus ads are our most effective form of marketing, hands down. What if you got to the ad first? Because I think there's this code that a graffiti artist can't paint over someone else's work. Yeah. Yes, if I make a positive graffito, there's nothing they can do about it. Does that make you feel better? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's map one off. I mean, you know, take a picture. Very yeah. professional pictures. And yeah. Just, okay. <laughs> <laughs>